Welcome to JTW Tutorials. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss how to put a file to download in a server and JSP applications. So basically, to put file for the download, we need a file to be in the server. Uh, that file, we have to create it right now. So go, for, go to create a file. So I will create one file. So that file is uh, supposed to be text file. I put some text. This is a file to be downloaded. Put some text here and I save this file anywhere uh, in the system. So I save this file to E drive. So under E drive, I can come across demo and then I will find one more file that uh, I will save this file as a demo file. That's it. And I save this one. So this file name is a demo file. So check out the file which was which I was saved here so for the computer. E drive and the demo. Here I got the demo file. So one more file will be this file. I will delete this one. Delete this file and this is a demo file which is which has now created. And close this. This folder is having only one file that is a demo file. So close this application and go for the next page. So to put that file in for the download. So we can create a web application. So go for the new project. Uh, to get the new project, right click on the project tab and uh, get the new project and uh, go for the web application. So the name of the project is file download. Next and next. Now finish it. So this is the file download application which was uh, just now created and this will be having index.jsp initially which was created by the uh, NetBeans automatically. So here what I need to do is I can go for strong tag and close this strong tag as well. So which is strong tag I can go for a, a h r e f equals to uh, I'll go for file download. I'll go for file download select and I'm gonna go for the method is supposed to be post and uh, here download file. I put the text download file. So this is a simple HRF statement a HRF is equal to uh, file download select and method is supposed to be post and here after this so I am going to go with the, a select application right click on the web pages go for the new and the select so here file download Select. Click on next and add information to the deployment descriptor and finish it. So this is a select and this is an index.jsp. And here what I need to do is so this uh, attribute is not allowed in this e sorry about this. I can go for download file only. So here a h r f is equal to file download select which will be linked to this one uh, download file. So when I download this, when I click on this download file, this select has to be invoked. So that will invoke this uh, select. Uh, so here in the configuration file, so I need to specify the location or the path of the file that is need to be downloaded. So open the web.xml file. So under web.xml file, here after this uh, session config, go for uh, I can go with the context uh, context param. I can go for context param and I close this context param as well. And I can go for description. 
file to download. Close the description. I will go for param name. So we will go for the param name that is uh, file. That's it. A simple file and param value is supposed to be e drive colon slash uh, I can go for double so this is the param value and here this is supposed to be a file here and uh, next thing so after creating this context param so we need to edit this uh, file download so right i'll do this uh, commands first of all i put a catch statement with it catch exception e that's it. So this uh, I'll remove this so this this is file download select and this index.csp this is file download select. So run this application. Here I got uh, this file download. When I click on this file download, it goes to the file download server. So here in this file download server, we need to code for downloading the file. And uh, we can start coding for that one in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching this tutorial.